I used to cook macaroni and cheese. It was a, it was a craft blow box, and she made it. She made it with. <laughs> She made it with silica beads. She had melt them down and it, it had a cheesy aftertaste. I got gonorrhea the last time I went on a sea boat. I told my mom to help me clean it up and she said, no thank you. Tell me three adjectives to describe yourself. Club sweet and banging for cream. <laughs> <laughs> go, uh, go. Uh, start, start the show, start it. Hello Tucker. Hey. And welcome. Specifically you to another episode of the 10 minute power hour. What about the rest of the audience? I'm happy they're here too. I'm happy you're here too. I'm happy you're here too. But you can't you can't say that to everybody who watches. There's like hundreds of thousands of people. My name's Aaron. Hey, I'm Dan. Do you want to know what we're doing today? Tell me about the thing. It's something that we've done already. Oh, we're we finishing the second half of that thing with the stuff? I mean, yeah, sure. Okay. That was impressive. Thank you. Yeah, I gotta give it to you on that one. Yeah, I set that up earlier. Okay, cool. It was definitely all me and not any of Tucker's editing. We're doing more newlywed games. Yes, we have to finish that list of questions. Newlywed game. Oh, fuck. Oh, hell. Oh, shit. What do you want? You want red and blue? No, I don't want red and blue. Oh, I got the black one. This signifies how the progress that we've made as people. New colors. Yes. A new day. New day, new dawn. Okay, I'm sorry. New okay. friends. <laughs> If you guys don't know how this works, oh, here's yes. how it works. You gotta ask a question, and then he writes the answer down. It's about himself, and then um, you have to guess. And then I have to guess my answer. What his answer is, and then if I get it right, then I know him really well. Yes. Here's the score. Boom, boom. Thank you. I love it. Okay. Go right ahead, Aaron. That made me seem like I had magic. Boom. Just more work. <laughs> boom. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah, wait, boom. wait, 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 wait. It's crazy. It's crazy. Let me try. Boom. Wow! I love it. That made me a little horny. Oh, I know this one. What? What is your pet name for me? Oh! That's easy peasy Japanese. All right. I said that already. Let's hear it. One. Big Cat. You better believe it's Big Cat, Big Cat. Yeah. I love it. But that's only for like when you're really distressed and need comforting. The comforting love of another man. Aw. Well, I do like to consider myself a giant pussy. Now is your chance to prove that you know me better than anyone else, including my wife, your who loves me very much. Your nickname for me? Nickname for you. Oh yeah! It's uh, Big D. Yeah, yeah! Big D! Oh, that's right! Because it implies that he has a gigantic penis. <laughs> Implication correct. Implication correct, right, Tucker? Ah, ah! Mm. Oh, I had to find it, sorry. Mm. What is the strangest gift that I have ever bought for you? When we first started out being friends, we bought each other shit all the time. Okay. Now, now, now we, like, deeply take each other for granted. God, what happened? Uh, well, I mean, <laughs> you just stop caring, am I right? Yeah, I guess so. It's not even a gift. It's just the first thing that you got for me. That I can remember. Oh shit, really? The very first thing. First day we met. Is it sushi? It's sushi! Wow. wow! But it was weird sushi. It was like, you should try this. And I was like, I'll try it. I would have said the Triceratops tooth I bought you. Oh yeah, that's way weirder. The weirdest present that you that got I me. This is a hard one. We're not gifty people. Can I get a small hint? Uh, uh, I use it every day. That gold studded butt plug? Oh shit, I forgot about that one. I have no clue. I have no clue. Do you give up? Yeah. It's four more years of my career! <laughs> <laughs> Here's your board. <laughs> get the shit out of my face. I don't want to see it anymore. Okay. I don't want to see the fucking blank whiteness. It reminds me that we'll all be dust someday. And. When the tiny plane landed, it sounded like my camera were winding. I thought, this is just a picture. You want the one that's directly next? Do you want that one? Yes, want obviously. Okay, <laughs> what is your spouse's mm -hmm. comfort food? I think you know my second one. So I'm gonna guess my second one, but you have to write it down first. You've never listed them for me. <laughs> 
never been like a fucking Olympic podium if, of comfort s- foods. The fact that you don't know automatically means that you probably don't know. Okay. Is it? Well, hold on. What? Oh yeah. I think you're gonna say ramen. Daikokuya specifically. I said ramen. Yeah. Okay, that's my second okay. favorite what, comfort food. What is your actual favorite? It's, I'll learn something today. It's uh, spaghetti made with butter and cheese. American ramen. I'm so close. I feel like that should count. I'll. You know what? I'll give it to Dan just because he seems like a great guy. <gasps> seems like he's winning actually. Tucker, thank you. Wait, I didn't know this was a competition. Oh this hell yeah, this is, is a competition. Supposed to be couples. For That's why you keep a score. No, no, no. Be- but it's not about whether or not someone's right or wrong. It's about the connection that we share. Uh, marriage is about winning, Aaron. <laughs> Everybody knows that. All right, my next one. Ow, fuck. <laughs> what's the next one? Sorry. <laughs> no, you have to do my comfort food. Oh, what's your comfort food? <laughs> oh, fucking, come on. I got it. Okay. What's your comfort food? You better believe it's those chicky fingies. Chicken fingers! Yeah, baby! And I drew a hand! <laughs> God, I hope no chicken actually has that. Um, all right, you ready? Yeah. yeah. You ready for what's next? Totally. <laughs> okay, the next one is... Uh, what is your spouse's idea of a perfect Sunday? A perfect oh. Sunday. Wow, I honestly don't know. What is my idea of a perfect Sunday? Okay, let's see. A little cherry on top, maybe some whipped cream. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't laugh at that. I'm gonna use my hand mirror right now to cheat. Mm. I put an activity in a food. Oh. First of my favorite Sunday, mm-hmm. the spaghetti, mm-hmm. and reading. <laughs> Put Disneyland. 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 You love Disneyland. I do love Disneyland. Yeah, is that not what you would want to do no, on a Sunday? No, I would want to relax. Cool. Disneyland well, isn't relaxing. That's true. But I do love Disneyland. Well, I fucked that one up. Well, you didn't fuck it up. I would love to go to Disneyland and eat spaghetti. It sounds like a great fucking day. All right. Ah! Oh, sorry. Are you okay? Oh, Jesus. I'm fine. I'm fine. We're glad you're okay. But in the future, mm-hmm. just know you're not getting any before this. I know. I okay. trust me. I know. I know. You're a liability. Okay. What's the question? Oh, my perfect Sunday. What's your perfect Sunday? You better write church. Done. Okay, uh, it is a relaxing day of watching football and seeing the Giants win. The, you, you didn't write anything remotely close to that, did you? I forgot you liked sports. Yeah, yeah, that's what happens on Sundays. I wrote chill and listening to music and shit. I do love doing that too. Yeah. We have a lot of interests. Yeah. I, I, I mean, honestly, I would have also accepted, uh, <laughs> like, snuggling or sex. Or I was thinking of sex. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking that's, something that's sexual. A good one. You're erasing what you wrote with your head. Here Eraser police. What the fuck is this? Serious. <laughs> that is not. It's an ice cream sandwich. Ah. No, the other side. <laughs> the cork. There you go. Oh, you might want to cut to an intermission. Tuckley, Buckley, what's the next one? Oh, yeah. Chum. What is your spouse's best dumb trick? Dumb trick? Uh, I think I might know what it is. I think I might know what it is. Okay. Tell me. Uh, juggling. Yo-yo! Oh. <clears throat> you should juggle my nuts in your fucking hand. What is your dumb trick? You seeing this shit? Is that the dumb trick? No. <gasps> Answer. Oh, shit. Is it spitting stuff into the air and catching it in my mouth? Spit it, spit stupid gum in air and yeah. catching dumb mouth. Yeah, that's me. I do it all the time, and I did it with a marshmallow. That's <laughs> right, you did, and it almost made me vomit. Really? God, you're disgusting. And this was the reason that long ago, in this kingdom by the sea, a wind blew out of a cloud, chilling my beautiful Annabelle Lee, so that her highborn kinsman came and bore her away from me to shut her up in a sepulcher in this kingdom by the sea. Here's the whiteboard, Dan! Holy shit! If your spouse was Superman, Uh uh-huh. what amazing feat would they perform? Spaghetti and feet balls. It, is it like, is it a joke or would I be able to guess this? I mean, it's not a joke. 
<laughs> well, now it's absolutely a joke. Uh, f- fly to Japan. You better believe it, suck your own dick! Oh. Yeah, I'd probably do that first. Yeah, I mean, come on. Japan will always be there. <laughs> Just take a flight. And you can blow yourself the entire 12 hours <laughs> it takes to get to Japan. Why would Superman- he's got like huge muscles, he wouldn't be able to reach down in his own penis? He's Superman! His penis is super. <laughs> it's like this long and he just has to go like... <laughs> yeah. Hello, old friend. <laughs> oh, I have to do it with Dan. I mean, you know what the answer is, it's the same answer. Oh. Yeah. He'd suck his own dick. What does Superman call his dick? What? That's not a real one. That is not a real one. You just made that up, Tucker. Answer the damn question. The answer is tip tonight. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Lois Vane. <laughs> I made mean, little, I mean, little fingers. Wow. Just little fingers. Wish they were made of chicken. Oh, yeah. Uh, Here, you want one? I can go anywhere. <laughs> Take a look, it's in a book, I read it. You're really mixing your LeVar Burton characters there. I love that man. Yeah, I know. Me too. <laughs> what color would your spouse say looks best for you? Oh, shiz. What looks best for me? I think you, you look best in black. Yeah, yeah. It's black! Always been on black. What do you think I think looks best on me? You gotta write it down. Okay. Do it! Black! It's black! Wow! I also wrote that. I only guessed it because you didn't write anything. <laughs> well, I mean shit. Everyone looks good in black. Well, that's not true. Who? Name anyone. Jesus. Yeah, you're right. He didn't, he didn't really rock black a lot. No. There's a lot of white going on. This is the last question. The last question? The last question. <laughs> Which traffic sign would you say best describes your... Hmm. This one was easy for me. Okay. Well, first of all, I have to say what I think the question is. I think it's what, uh, what traffic sign best represents your sexual advances towards me? And the answer is yield. It's the sign where like the road is getting smaller, but then it gets bigger at the, in, at the end. What, what is it in reference to? I don't know, I just like that sign. Oh, okay. Let's just get this out of the way. Okay, what is the sign that would best describe your, or my? What's the sign that would best describe my, I guess? All right, done. I think it's a stop sign. What's the end of the question, though? The sign that best represents your love for me. That'll never stop. I said what represents my dick, and it's the curvy road sign. The one that kind of goes like, whoa, where's that? Where where are you going with all that dick? That's crazy. Wow. That's a really funny goof. I'm glad I got to share this moment with you, this episode with you. It's a great episode. Next time on the 10 Minute Power Hour. (laughs) What's the final score, Tucker? Bam bam! Wow, bam bam! That's great. Well, it sure has been fun. We had man. a great time. I um, learned a lot about you, and you learned a lot about me. I loved it. And I'll never be free. I mean, <laughs> everything is going great, and we're friends. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Twenty thousand dollars. It has been a pleasure to be here on the Ten Minute Power Hour. Five days. You have five days, and we will be back here next Monday, stronger than ever, unless Aaron dies. We'll see you soon. I'm safe, don't worry about me.
My dad told me once that I had straight A's. Turned out he was wrong. Flunked out of kindergarten. <laughs> Couldn't keep the macaroni pieces on the paper. The letter B is perfect for spelling words such as banana. <laughs> Killing Tucker over here. His face is like red. <laughs> so fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs>